Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be updating the California name change guide that I posted in 2017 because SB 179 takes effect today. For those of you that don't know, the bill does two main things. The first is that it allows people to legally change their gender to non-binary in the state of California and have that reflected on birth certificates, state IDs, and driver's licenses. This bill makes it possible for transgender, non-binary, and intersex people to have documents that reflect their identity. The second thing that it changes is that it deletes the requirement to have a physician's letter to legally change your gender via court order. I said that a physician's letter was required required in my original name change guide, but that's no longer required, so hopefully this process will be a lot easier for people. Starting on Monday when the courts open again, you'll simply have to say that you're not changing your gender for fraudulent purposes, and then the judge will most likely sign your decree on your hearing date. In addition to the portion of the bill that takes effect today, another portion will be taking effect on January 1st of 2019, and that would allow people to choose the gender category of male, female, or non-binary at the DMV when they're applying for driver's licenses or IDs. You wouldn't have to present any documentation or mark the same gender that you had on your previous ID or driver's license or birth certificate. So it's really up to you to decide if you want to do the court order or go to the DMV. I think that this portion of the bill is really important because it allows people to legally change their gender without spending $435 on filing fees. This is a much more accessible option for people that are just looking to change their gender on their state ID or driver's license. However, you would still need a court order to change your gender on your passport or anything else outside of California. So that's pretty much what this bill is. I'll link my original guide down in the description below because it still has a lot of important information that's true today and i'll also link the new name change forms and gender change forms down below and if you have any other questions feel free to comment down below or dm me or email me i know that this sort of thing can be really confusing at times and i just really want to help as many people as possible because i know that having legal documents that accurately reflect who you are and what you go by can really make a big difference in your life so with that i wish you all the best of luck and feel free to reach out to me if you have any other questions goodbye